we go again. COVID, flu, and now RSV. We could be in for a long holiday season. Now, COVID is rearing its head again. New cases are up about 11% in the last week. Hospitalizations climbing to 8%. Significant increases because before now, we've had months of steady decline. Bay Area Children's Hospitals are filling up with RSV cases and for adults, an overflow at local urgent care clinics. Health experts are warning an emergency declaration may be coming next. Here's NBC Bay Area, Stephanie Magallon. A winter epidemic is looming and a virus is to blame. But this time, health experts say it's children who are most at risk. And this is all due to RSV, not to COVID. Um, there are long lines at the emergency department, urgent care, and the ICU beds and the regular hospital beds are uh, packed to capacity. And this may just be the beginning. Infectious disease expert Dr. Peter Chin Hong says the RSV season is five months long, and we're in month one. But the virus is so widespread this year that it's forcing the UCSF Children's Hospitals in Oakland and San Francisco to cut back on other services, just like early COVID. The RSV surge right now in pediatric populations is leading to cancellations of elective surgeries, cancellations of things that uh, more routine and could wait. Dr. Chin Hong says another big problem is the limited number of pediatric beds in most hospitals, meaning as more children show up with a virus, hospitals may need to find other places to put them. I, I think um, what you may see next in the Bay Area is a similar emergency declaration where adult beds may be used to take care of pediatric populations if it continues like this. But he and other experts, including the CDC, say adult hospitalizations are also creeping up. That's because we have RSV, COVID and the flu. These two graphs show us just how bad the flu season is here in the Bay Area and across California. The purple line is this season and you can see influenza cases this year are much higher than prior years. So how do we protect our children? Unfortunately for the uh, SRV virus, we do not have a vaccine um, yet. It's coming, but we do have flu vaccine and COVID vaccines that most kids are eligible for taking, and they really should get that in order to prevent complications of respiratory uh, viral infections. The other bit of good news is that hospitals can generally help treat children's RSV symptoms quickly, as long as they have enough room to do so. I'm Stephanie Magallon, NBC Bay Area News.